going to title this episode Woman Fists Box. That'll get the views in. Welcome back, Frill Nation, to another episode of OK Bloomer. I hope you all had decent holiday times. I know it's been a few months. Things have been really crazy around here. Today, we are just doing a simple unboxing of the Atelier Piero Adenophora Happy Bag. This was their velour set that they did in a few different pieces. They had a an OP, so it was a short sleeve, uh, puff sleeve OP, really simple in red, blue, or black, and it was a velour instead of a velvet, but it was sort of a velveteen. I don't know. We'll see when I open it. What is that, velvet? It also came with a corset and a choker piece, and then they had a similar design. I believe it's called the Aletta jacket, which came in the red, blue, and black, but also came in green and pink. Earlier this year, at around the end of January, they did a special happy pack, so it came with all four of those pieces for, I want to say, around 70,000 yen. I can't really remember, which was a great deal because on its own, each individual piece would have added up to over 90,000 yen. I thought that was a really great steal for all of the pieces. The one downside was that it was only available through their one store location. So to order it, you would have to use a shopping service. I'm lazy, so I used World Shopping, which they'd already had a connection to. They do charge a 10% flat fee based on whatever you buy, which is, it's not the worst, it's not my favorite, but it's just how it is. So I ordered through them at the end of January, and it was just because I just thought it was a good time. I was like, you know, I'll treat myself. I'm always trying to support the brands that do offer plus sizes. The set came in three sizes, one, two, and three. I had to order size three. The Happy Packs came in also two flavors, I'll call it. So you could either select for a more gothic Happy Pack. So I assume it would be some of the darker colors or a more classic Happy Pack. I went with classic. So I'm excited to see kind of what they gave. So I ordered the set because I had the money at the time. I'd paid off some credit cards. Then my cat needed surgery. <laughs> Long story short, uh, my cat had a bladder stone, uh, roughly the size of an M&M candy, or like basically like a centimeter or a half inch. It was huge. The vet tech said it was the biggest one she'd seen in like 20 years. So that was great. Um, she's okay now. We had the surgery done. She's on the mend. She's back to her old self being spicy. So, but that was a great couple of weeks. So I was like, okay, well, I have this happy pack coming. It's already paid for, so it'll all be okay. And I kept watching tracking. World Shopping orders it. Then when it gets to their warehouse, then they send it on to you once you paid for shipping. Shipping was a lot higher than I expected. I think it was around, around 12,000 yen, which worked out to about $90, but the box is fucking huge. And it's also kind of, like, it's not super heavy. I'm just really out of shape. Like, look. Like, she thick, she thick box. US made it through customs on February 2nd. And then February 3rd, I don't know if you've heard about this, a train carrying toxic poisonous chemicals derailed in East Palestine, Ohio. Like, okay, like here's Ohio, here's like Michigan and that's kind of how it sits. And East Palestine's like over here and Chicago's like over here somewhere. But still, I think it kind of, uh, everyone kind of like just wanted to sit tight for a bit and kind of be like, okay, what's going on? How big of an ecological disaster is this? By the way, it's a huge ecological disaster. Um, it's probably going to affect a majority of the US for quite a while because of how the river basins feed into each other and head uh, southward towards Mississippi. There have been <laughs> mass fish die-offs and animal die-offs. People's pets have died from some of the gases that are released into the uh, atmosphere and surrounding areas. So my dress sat in customs for an extra 12 days. Everything is fucked. It's fine. Yeah, but there's people that are dying. I finally was able to, and then finally I got the, I got the notification that they were going to deliver it. Valentine's Day. I was like, oh, that's really sweet, that's perfect. I can try it on. No one was home when they came to deliver the package, so I had to wait. Finally got to pick it up, and here it is. So, here it is again. 
it's huge. The box is huge. So it also has a giant hole in it. Like so that's that's great. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm losing shit. Like I think this box was on the fucking train. Like that's how bad of condition it's in. <laughs> Like, this box went to fucking Nam. Okay, like, what? I guess this will be my visual proof if there isn't everything in here. Um, the only thing I've done so far was I took the shipping label off the top so you can't see my address. As always, don't stalk me. I'm not interested. So, I'm really hoping for the green jacket. I'm a little disappointed that the dress didn't come in the green because I thought it was really nice. Okay. Me, it's the pink jacket. I knew there was a chance I'd get the pink jacket. That goes like half expecting to get the pink jacket. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, so this is the Aletta jacket. And this was kind of what I was most hyped about was that, like, a, a coat. I mean, need a coat. It's one of those simple things that ultimately everyone kind of gives a pass on because it is hard to find decent little coats, especially in plus size, and especially that are warm enough to actually withstand a lot of winter weather. Okay, the pink isn't that, it's very classic. It's very like dusty mauve. It's not like a candy pink. It's like Mary Magdalene or Innocent World pink, which I dig. God, I wish I would've gotten the green. Damn, I could always go back and buy the green. Like I could quit being a little baby about it and just buy the green. So it does have, it's double breasted, which just means it's got Two sets of buttons, very nice buttons. They're like, they're they're anchors. So I think they're fairly generic, like brass buttons, probably similar at Joann's. If you wanted, you could always swap them out. I'm sort of a weirdo and I like a neutral button. A couple times I've made coats, I've actually like sat with a little button making kit and done little press buttons, which is a pain in the ass when you're working with wool but I think it just, it's a finishing touch. These aren't terrible buttons, but they're definitely like, it would have been cool if it was like a crest or like maybe like reminiscent of their logo somehow. Okay, so that's the show buttons. And then they also have some buttons on the inside just to help hold it closed. These are more plain matchy plastic buttons. She heavy. Oh, this is gorgeous though. I love the ruffle. Yep, it's poly and wool. So it is wool. So if you have a wool allergy, maybe don't. See, it's got this beautiful, beautiful corset detail on the back, so you can tighten it a little bit. God, I hope it fits me. I hope it looks good. Like, it'll fit me widthwise, but we've had this discussion before with Nona and, like, a few other things. Like, you can see even here. And I knew I bought this dress as a splurge because a girl in Australia was selling it on the Plus Size Discord, and I have the black one, and I bought the black one originally when it was released. I've never seen any of the other colors. They had it in white and pink, and then it came for sale. And I've never seen any of the other colors. Well, she had the white one, so I was like, okay, fuck, I'm gonna grab the white one. So now I'm on the lookout for the pink one so I can have the full trifecta. I kind of like the coat. It's also like very, it's something you could wear like every day too. So that's always nice. Let's see. This kind of light, no one worry. No, it's okay. Ooh, okay, interesting. They gave me, oh no, it's okay. Everything's there. The black corset. This is, I was, ex oh, okay. And it has an actual metal busk, like a traditional corset would. I honestly was expecting getting like the red or the blue. I didn't expect to get the black. So there's the busk. It's lined with a very stiff canvas material. And it's got, yeah, this is like a, a velveteen, very short pile velveteen on the front. So this is gonna be a really nice finishing touch for a lot of looks. I wanted to do like more, corsets and waist belts and things. Okay, and they also have a panel. Laces up in the back, there is a panel there, pretty significant sized panel, so you can give yourself some breathing room if you need. Mm, really nice. Okay, okay. Here's the, this was the piece that I was like, mm, about because as previously covered, I'm not big on things that kind of wrap around the neck. Like it just, I don't know, not really into being choked, I guess. This is the collar piece. Again, very well made. They either just cut the edges and left them raw. I think they just cut the edges and left them raw. Yeah, because they are fraying a very little bit. It's great, because it's like a corset for your neck, so. 
snaps I'm a little unsure about, but it does also have that laces up in the front, these really tiny little grommets, so you could give yourself more breathing room. I think it goes, I think it goes, the, oh, it's tight. Oh, she tight. I'm not sure if the lacing goes in the front or the back. This only came in a size one or two, but because it does have that lacing, mm, I think they gave me a black dress. It does have that lacing, so again, there's some breathing room. The lacing does not have a modesty panel like the corset, but that's okay because then that way you don't, it's your neck. Like, it's fine, okay? It, it's your neck. Like, it could be fun to show a little throat skin. I don't know. The classic pack, they literally were just like, eh, pink. Oh, everything else will be black. Oh yeah. In a way it's nice though, because then it's like I can wear all black everything else. Blue dress, I think, was kind of what I was hoping for. Makes me wonder how, oh my God. Okay. So the one thing that I have heard from a lot of people in the plus size Discord that have ordered the dress on its own is that the issue is the shoulder. The elastic is too long and that could be just because of the elastic like being held at a stretch because of the thickness of the material. Okay, we got a center back zipper. But because this elastic is so long, like a few people have had it altered and made shorter and they said it was a lot better. But a lot of them tend to be like, you know, it's a little, it's a little sexy. Okay, so it's not the flashiest dress. It's very simple. It does have some corset lacing on the sides, which I kind of love, so that way you could bring it in a little if you needed. And it is an A-line skirt. So it's a very A-line dress. There's no gathers at the skirt, which is nice in a way because then it gives you a much smoother silhouette. Sometimes a lot of wrinkles kind of visually lead to a lot of bunching at the waistline, which isn't always the most flattering look on people, but that's personal preference, of course. Hey, <laughs> I ordered the classic set. They basically gave me a, they're like pink jacket and everything else can be black. But I know they were also running low on some of the colors. I would have liked the blue dress because I just, I'm really a big fan of like blues and greens. I think it would have been nice to have had a blue dress in my wardrobe. I guess I'll just have to fucking make one now. It is fully lined. Oh, thank God. Okay. It's just tacked at the waist seam. It's not enclosed, which enclosing waist seam is, it's the devil's work. Don't fucking do it. Don't enclose your waist seams. Leave them open to make my life easier. And so that would be super easy to kind of get up in the guts and replace the elastic in the shoulders if I need to. This is really nice. And you know, I know it's not like flashy, OTT, angelic prey. Like I get people want angelic prey to make stuff in their size. I understand it. I can't, I don't blame them for it. I don't think AP ever will, to be honest. I think that they're gonna continue to just cut corners where they can and please the markets where they can. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a lot of faith in AP. That's just me. If they'd wanted to make more plus size, they would have by now is my feeling on it. This is really nice. This is, oh, girl. Yeah, this definitely feels kind of big through here, but I am excited to see kind of how it feels. Um, I am going to put all of this on. We'll do a little fashion show. We'll kind of see how it fits. And yes, all the pieces were there despite the giant fucking hole in the box. This box needs like a Viking funeral, honestly. I am going to get changed real quick. Give me a minute. And I'm gonna try this stuff on. I think the coat might actually be my favorite piece so far. That's because it actually has a really nice length on me. With Nanette, as we remember, the length has been an issue just because of the dream team and how it kind of takes over everything and ruins my life. And this is so nice. Okay, the I would have still liked a different color. Could have been the green, the red, the blue. But I don't mind the pink. And I guess too, like the smattering of sweet crap I have in my closet, it'll go with that kind of sort of not really. I do also have that AP cloak I made. 
this is actually super nice. The sleeves are huge. Part of me wishes that there was maybe a little lace trim along the edge of the sleeve, but I'm also not super mad about it. The sleeve also has what is called a facing, and that is where you have some of the outer material along the inner edge of the sleeve of something. So that way if it kind of flips out or people see it, they see more of this material. It also, because it's that stiffer wool, it helps to kind of reinforce that edge a little bit. The lace is really nice. This is because it's a wool piece, it is dry clean only. Sorry, my nose gets itchy. I do have pretty average to narrow shoulders. So the shoulders do feel quite good on me. They could go maybe even a touch bigger. I do feel that there is actually volume for a puff sleeve, seeing as I am actually wearing a puff sleeve right now because I'm wearing the, the dress and everything under this. So there would be enough room in the shoulders for that. The sleeves at the top, quite roomy, quite comfortable. I have pretty large upper arms and biceps, and then I have pretty skinny forearms. My biceps are quite comfortable, like I'm like I don't feel like I'm gonna hulk out of the dress. This is probably one of the best plus size pieces from a Japanese brand that I've ever gotten. Like in terms of fit, in terms of quality, this is literally probably like number one. I think if some of these go on sale in the future, like I might splurge on one or two more. Again, this is the size three. This is the biggest size they made. And this is in their dusty pink. I don't have it buttoned up all the way. I have that fucking choker on. I feel a certain way about it. I don't know, again, like, I, need to, I just need to loosen it up a little bit and it'll be fine. Yeah, the coat alone, I think Atelier Piero knocked it out of the fucking park with this one. So I am super hype about this. This is great, great fit, super comfy. Let's talk about the rest of it. Uh, fair warning, you are going to see my bra a little bit because it's just the cut of the dress with the cut of my body and that's just kind of how, how life goes. So this is, yeah, I got everything in black. <laughs> I ordered the classic happy pack and I got, they were like, well, we've only got black of everything left. And then it's like, well, what about the coat? And they're like, well, she ordered a classic, so we'll give her the pink coat. And for some reason they talk like 1930s radio announcers. I don't know, that's just how it is. So the corset I also love. The corset is like nine out of 10, I'll give it a nine. And that's only because um, it's just canvas and plastic boning. So it's very much sort of a fashion corset, but my God, what a corset. I like it. I like it a lot. I've been wanting to do more waist belts and things. I wouldn't have minded a different color, but I think black will go with a lot more in my wardrobe. Hell, I might get some of their other waist belts at this rate. I really like it. I like the metal busk in the front. I don't get it. There's the back. I'm trying to yell over my shoulder so you can see. I didn't like tighten it or anything. I just kind of left it loose. And that's probably what I'll do in the future is just kind of leave it loose. Yeah, because then you can kind of pop and unpop. And it helps give the dress a little bit something, something. Because the dress itself is very plain. It's very simple, which is fine. Oh, we'll get to the dress. Don't you worry. We'll get there. The choker, I could live or die without. It's fine. It's fine. If it's, I could loosen it up a little bit. I only did the, the top and bottom button. I might be wearing it backwards. So yeah, so you could spin it around. I didn't lace it up. I didn't tighten it. Again, it's fun for like a detail because it matches everything. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. I'll have to, I'll have to wear it with some things and try it on and play with it a little bit, I think. <sighs> the star of the show, the dress. So, um, yeah, when the plus size group was talking about the shoulders on this, they were not kidding. Um, <laughs> there's way too much damn elastic in the sleeve, uh, which is a good problem in a way because you can always make things shorter. You can't always make them longer. Um, but I probably have to take out probably about five to six inches of elastic. I might also, depending on what kind of elastic is in there because there's uh, there's woven elastic and there's knit elastic, and depending on what you use, one has a lot more stretch than the other, but it also stays stretched out longer. So depending on what kind, I might replace it with the stiffer stuff so that it'll hold its shape better. But yeah, I pin this side. It also kind of helps hold the bodice a little tighter. The bodice is very square shaped, 
um, without the, here I'll pop the corset off real quick, without the corset there's not a lot of shaping to the bodice, it's like there's princess seams, woo, whoopty fucking do, uh, but as you can see, and that could just be, you know, how my body is, there's not really a lot of curvature to this bust seam, so it sits a little bit flat, which is, eh, it is what it is. But yeah, the the sleeves are huge. Enormous. They are enormous sleeves. But again, it's very simple taken. And really, apart from that, it's such a simple dress that, like, I still really like it. It's super, it's quite long on me. I am five foot two, five foot three. And this hits me at about calf length. So if you were five, six, five, eight, like I think you'd still be fine. And it would probably hit to about your knee. It, of course, it always depends on your body proportions, your general size. I haven't tightened the side lacings at all, but that's kind of nice if you're like on the smaller edge of the size three. I was closer to the, the higher edge of the size three. Yeah, some of the fit on the armpit is a little weird. Like it's, it's tight on top here at this, but then it's like, so then you can see there's still, like it's not actually closing around the arm, but it's very comfy. Again, I'm having no issues with hulking out. I think if you had wider shoulders, I don't think it would be as a problem for you either, especially because of the excessive elastic. So yeah, not gonna lie, I'm a little annoyed about having to alter stuff, but at the same time, honestly, before we started going nuts with stretchy materials, everyone had everything altered to fit. Like you would, you can still see this when you go to Neiman Marcus or Macy's, if there's still a Macy's near you somewhere, is they will have like an alterations shop in the back because it was meant to you buy off the rack and then you get things tweaked as need be to be more flattering to your height or your arm length or whatever. So having to alter stuff off the rack isn't that alarming. And I think we're just not used to it because people haven't thought about having to do it in like 70 fucking years because of mass production and sweatshops and just, yeah, just brute forcing people into saying, well, clearly it's your own fault for not fitting into these pieces. And it's like, mm is it though? It's because everyone is cutting things to fit one proportion of person and that proportion of person does not exist. I saw it all the time in the bridal shop where it was like, oh my god, your bust and hips put you in an 8, but your waist puts you in a 12. I have never worn a 12 in my life. Well, yeah, honey, but it's based off the proportions of a woman who does not exist. And it is not a problem to be a size 12. You need to break away from this idea that it somehow is a travesty to be a size 12. No one has to know what fucking size you are. You can cut the tags out. That's the other thing. It's like someone gonna be interrogating you, like, mm, what size dress did you have to order? Oh, I had to order her name. Oh, we'll prove it. Let me see the t Look, No one's gonna do that. But I don't know. Okay, well, so? I don't know. What do you want from me? God. I th yeah, so I think tightening the sleeves a little bit for sure. I don't know what bra I'm gonna wear with this. And then maybe, I would maybe dart the bodice just a little bit, just to help bring that sleeve in a little. So yeah, she needs some edits, but overall, it's very nice. Now this is, this has a cure tag. Oh, I'm wearing pajama pants, don't get excited. Let's see what the care instructions are. Oh fuck, they're all in Japanese. Why was I surprised? I'm like, oh no, I'll read the care instructions. Oh God, they're in a language I can't read. Why didn't they put them in English? If you have a smartphone, you can go into your camera app. I don't know if you knew this, I didn't know this for a while. And then I found out when I went to a Japanese grocery with a girlfriend and I was trying to find the dashi packs. And I was like, oh, okay, there's liquid dashi here. Is there, are these powdered dashi packs? And they were, so. So you can open up your camera, photo of words to translate. Oh boy. Do not iron, do not leave overflowing. Please note that colors may transfer. I'm not sure if I can machine wash this. So that'll be something, that'll be something to do a little more research on down the road. So yeah, overall, I give the pack overall like a seven out of 10. Um, and I'm giving it points off because <laughs> It's all black. Again, fine, it's versatile. I got the pink coat. I would've liked the, gr 
the green would have been so, like, I might actually, you know what, fuck it, I might, when I'm feeling spendy, I might go and see if the green is still available and just go for it. Or the blue or the red, because I really like all of those. But the pink is great for now, because the cut's really nice. So, the corset, I like the corset. The neck thing, eh, maybe, I don't know. It's not really my thing, but it was still cheaper to get all of this and just be like, eh, one piece I might have to resell than to, I can find something to do with it though. And the dress, eh, the dress is nice, it's comfortable. I didn't have to unzip it to pull it on. It has a zipper in the center back. I did not have to unzip the dress. I could just slide it on over my head. So there is that, that's kind of cool. Overall, seven out of 10. I'm annoyed I have to fix a few things. I'm blurg about getting the pink coat, but there is a chance of that. But overall, incredibly comfortable. This hits at my, the waist seam hits at my natural waist. And that could be in part because look, actually no, it has nothing to do with the long ass sleeves. So that's awesome. Oh, it doesn't have pockets. Oh, I'm taking a point off. No pockets in the dress. Six out of 10. I can add pockets because there's side seams. Six out of 10. You should have given us pockets. God damn it. The coat has pockets, but they're like fingertip pockets. So it's like you can keep a chapstick in one of them. Do I regret it? No. Was it an ill time to purchase with everything that I had that happened financially? But that's just life. That's just how shit goes. I'm fine. Like I don't need to worry about reselling these pieces. I did do a big closet clean out while looking through my wardrobe and I am going to sell a bunch of pieces, but that's just to get rid of them and to make more space in my closet area because she overfloweth. So otherwise, pretty happy with it. Might go back and buy a couple more of some of the individual pieces later just to have a little more variety in my wardrobe. Did you buy one of these happy packs? Did you buy the dress itself? What is the deal with the giant goddamn elastic in the sleeves? Like this is the elastic you need to use. And I think this is called, look at, this is like rib elastic. And you can kind of see, this is, it's hard because I have white on black, so it's gonna be hard. The camera's freaking out, it's losing its mind. You can see it's got this rib texture to it. And that's what brand usually uses. This stuff sucks, like do not, if it does that, you could see through it. It's not good for stuff like this where you need it to have some rigidity. So do not use this is, this is elastic knit, non wool. It could be good for edges on like some things like undergarments and things, but if you're doing it for stuff that needs stability and structure, what you want is the braided elastic. So that's what you want for things like sleeve details where the elastic has to hold on to its shape. We'll see what kind of elastic is in there. <sighs> Did you buy? <laughs> <laughs> the ATP Happy Pack. What colors did you get? Did you get the fucking pink coat? Did you get the green coat? Do you have it in size three? Do you want to sell it to me? Do you want to do a trade for the pink coat? Eh? What were your thoughts? Were the sleeves huge on you too? Or were they adequately sized for you? You good with the corset bit? There was a headdress. I, I don't know if I would have been any happier with a headdress because it was like one of those rectangle boys. And I don't really wear those because I don't have bangs. So I always feel really weird about wearing a rectangle headdress without bangs. Well, that's my hang up. I've always had that hang up and it's like, well, Denise, just cut bangs in your hair. No, I made that mistake when I was eight years old. And if you can tell, my hair is very curly and I hated using curling irons because my sister burnt my forehead with one once while trying to do my bangs to get them nice and, and smooth and straight. So I will not cut my hair bangs. And yeah, I bought like a bang, you could buy a bang hair piece. I did and I need to trim it and that effort, okay? I know it would take me five, 10 minutes, but it's the fact that I would have to spend five to 10 minutes doing it that keeps me from doing it. I don't, I think I have ADHD. I have no proof, but everyone I know has it. And there's way too many of those memes that are relatable. So did you get this happy pack? Do you like this happy pack? Is there something you wish you would have done different? Do you wish that they could have had the adenophora stuff in the green? Cause I do, the green and the pink would have been cool. But considering the jacket is an entirely different material, it's that wool, it makes sense why they didn't have the velour in the green. Six out of 10, no pockets in the dress, giant elastic sleeves, tiny ass pockets in the coat, but the six points came from a coat that is beautiful, comfortable, and fits me nice. A very simple dress that I can coordinate in a dozen ways, also very comfortable and fits me nice. A waist corset that isn't too huge that I can wear with other things, that has a lot of room for 
size interchangeability. They took notes from Nonette, which had way too short of ribbon, and they gave it more than adequate ribbon length on the waist cincher, corset, whatever the fuck we're going to call it. So I was very happy with that. Choker. That is all for today. I know this, I think this might actually be a bit of a shorter video. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to see more sporadic content. I am currently working on a history video, history of the brand Sweet Rococo. If you've heard of it, let me know if you remember anything about it. If you haven't, you're in for a treat. Uh, the Stitches actually did a video on it like six months ago talking about it. And I think she's the only person I've seen talk about it on YouTube. I tried to do a research to see if anyone else had, and no one else had, as far as I could tell. Like and subscribe if you have any thoughts, comments. I always read them. I always appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day. Good night. Sorry, you're gonna see my bra strap a lot. Just deal, just fucking deal with it. It's a bra, all right? It's not, it's not a merkin. Calm down.